This in-service video will give you an overview of ConMed's air seal system. Always refer to the user's manual for the most up-to-date instructions, cautions, and warnings. The air seal system contains three basic components, the IFS unit itself, the air seal access ports, and the three filtered tube sets, one for each mode of operation. There are three modes of operation with the air seal system, air seal mode, smoke evacuation mode, and standard insufflation mode. To begin, let's review the different components of the IFS unit itself. Located on the front of the air seal IFS unit, you'll find the on and off switch, the touchscreen display, the tubing connector post for standard insufflation mode, the air seal and smoke evacuation filter receptacle, and the locking lever. Located on the back of the unit, you'll find the gas connection port for house gas or bottle gas, the AC electrical connection, the grounding connection, and the USB data connection. To ensure the proper function of the IFS unit and eliminate overheating, verify that the cooling vents on the bottom of the unit are not blocked. The IFS cart comes with a ventilation slot in the shelf to ensure proper ventilation is maintained. Please confirm there is room for ventilation when the IFS unit is placed on platforms other than the IFS cart. Connecting CO2 gas to the IFS. Ensure there is a rubber gasket on your house or bottle gas connector. Align the pin on the connector to the notch in the plug. Turn until finger tight. Use a wrench to finish tightening the house or bottle gas connector. Please note, all new units are shipped with bottle gas connectors already in place. Turning on the IFS unit. Once the CO2 has been turned on, press the on switch on the lower left side of the unit. It will illuminate green. This will initiate the self-calibration process, which takes approximately two minutes. Do not insert any filtered tube set during this self-calibration process. Proceed only after the three-mode home touch screen is displayed. Please proceed to the next module for more information.